What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this makeup tutorial for you guys and I'm super excited because it, I don't think I've ever done like a very monochromatic look where like the eyes are the same color as the lips and cheeks and all that stuff. So I am so excited to do this video today and what inspired this look was actually this lipstick that I'm going to be using today. This is from the e.l.f. Modern Metals collection and it's a brand new collection that came out. As always, all of the products that I use will be listed down below in the description box for you guys just in case you miss them throughout the video also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media you guys can find the links down below but I am on Twitter Instagram Facebook I have a new little setup here um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it um, I'm not entirely sure if I like it but I felt like um, I wanted to try something new I always hate my background in videos when I have stuff behind me so um, I figured I would do some backdrops and try it out and all that stuff so I hope you guys like it so yeah if you're excited and ready to see how I achieve this look then let's go ahead and jump right into the video so I'm going to go ahead and start by priming my eyelids and I'm going to just use some concealer because I find that concealer works the best for me personally. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Sand. I like a full coverage primer. I feel like um, I get the best color payoff and everything so I don't like to go in with something that's very sheer. And I'm just going to blend that in with this little, I think, believe this is an Eco Tools sponge. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into my eye here. You can just use a brush if you don't have like a small sponge. You can use a beauty blender. You can use your finger. You do not have to use a sponge. Now that I have my base down, I'm going to go ahead and just set that. And I'm going to just take a cream white eyeshadow. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Bone by Anastasia. And I'm just going to take a large fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M504. I'm just going to pop that right on top um, just to set that shadow. I always, 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 always set my eyeshadow. I mean, my base. I just like to press that into the eye all the way up into the brow bone. I'm actually going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette um, and I'm going to take the color Silk Cream just because it's a really nice kind of base shade. Morphe M518 brush. Take that and I'm going to pop that right into the crease and I'm going to make sure I kind of round this out. I'm not going to wing it too much. I really want it to be nice and round because we're going to do a pretty dramatic cut crease today. I just want to make sure that I round it out. So I'm going to start from the middle and I'm just going to pop that into the crease here. And we're going to take that from the inner corner to the outer corner. And with a very, very, very light hand, I'm going to place this color. Remember, wherever you put your brush first is where you will have the most color payoff. I'm going to go in with a little bit of an orangey shade. This is Rule from MAC, and it's a just a very pretty orange shade. And I think I want to take this and concentrate this again in the crease area. I'm going to take that same um, M518 brush by Morphe, and I'm just going to dip my brush into it. As you can see, it's a very pretty orange shade. Tapping off that excess and then I'm going to concentrate this again up into that um, upper crease. This is um, Hunt's with the Jaclyn Hill palette and it's this kind of burnt orange red shade. So I'm going to dip my small blending brush. This is the Morphe M506. I'm going to go ahead and just take that color and I'm really not going to tap off too much. Like I'm really just going to let it be on the outer edge here. Ooh, that's a pretty color. And then I'm going to pick up some more and then pop that into the inner corner. And then I'm going to swing this through the entire crease. I'm going to go in with my MAC 217 brush and we're going to kind of just diffuse this product throughout that crease. I'm going to go in with a clean brush, like a nice clean brush, and we are going to kind of diffuse these edges a little bit and just soften them up. I'm going to go into the shade, I believe it's Jack's, which is that really deep kind of burgundy red shade right here. And we're going to pop that right onto the outer edge here. And then we're going to take that and pop that onto the inner. 
this time really concentrating that in just one specific area of the crease so like right in the socket like right where you can see my brush like fits nicely that's where I want to concentrate that color I'm gonna take some tart shape tape this is in the shade light sand same one I use to prime my eyes and I'm gonna take a small flat detailing brush like this and we're gonna kind of cut this crease a little bit so I just put some of that on my mixing palette here and we're going to focus this mostly on the center I'm going to take the Dallium Tool 718 Tiny Pencil Brush. This is a great brush for detailing. I'm going to go ahead and dip that brush into that Jax color. We're going to detail this cut crease. And we're just going to drag that through as if we're creating like a really harsh line. And then I'm going to go in with that other, that um, little shading crease brush. I'm going to take the flat side of it, not the flat side, but I'm going to take one side of it and press it into that shadow, top off the excess, and we're going to kind of buff this into the outer portion here. I'm going to go into that shade um, Hunt, Hunts, is that what it is? And we're going to pop that right on top of that Jack's color. And as you can see, we're losing a little bit of that cut crease, but we'll go back in and we'll fix it up. I'm going to go back into that rule shade and we're going to concentrate this on the upper portion of the eye. So I'm going to start on my lid space. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade from Makeup Geek. This is a foiled shadow called Magic Act. And um, I'm going to pop that right onto the center of the lid. I'm going to take this small brush by Anastasia. It's the one that comes with um, like all of the palettes. I'm going to take that to feather out these edges a little bit. Instead of using like a wide blending brush, I really like to use like a small, tiny flat brush like this. Now, I'm going to go into the shade Nylon by MAC. This is one of my favorite inner corner highlights, but I'm going to use this on top of Magic Act today. Just pop that right on top of this shade. Just to give it more of a white instead of like super, super gold. I'm going to go ahead and start off by taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and this is in the So Chill Coconut and I'm going to pop this all over and drench my face in it. For primer today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Clean Slight Timeless Smoothing Primer. So I just like to warm it up in my hand and then I will pop that all over my face and just use that to smooth out my face because I do have some texture. Uh, lately I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation but I'm going to use that with a brush um, today. I have the shade Golden Beige so this is what it looks like. It's a little too yellow for me but that's okay. And then I will just take this brush and I'm just going to blend that out onto my face and just see how far this takes me. See, it's a little too golden for me. I feel like I like spreading it around. I don't use as much product. I'll take a damp beauty blender and I will just pop right over that. Because beauty blenders, do, like, beauty blenders are the shit. So for concealer today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Concealer, Conceal and Define. And this is in the shade C6. And I'm going to just be popping this right on to underneath my eyes. I'm going to take some of that on my chin, my cupid's bow, I am going to take that down my nose and on my forehead. So I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and just blending that out today. So for powder, of course, I'm going to go in and use my handy dandy Laura Mercier powder. It's literally the only powder that I have and I will just kind of press this underneath my eye to kind of set it and then I will go in and bake this side 
I'm gonna take Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and we're gonna run this right underneath our eyes, our lower lash line here. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Rule, which is that orange shade from MAC. And we're gonna run this right on the lower lash line as well, keeping that nice and tight. I'm gonna take that little small shader brush here. And I'm gonna go in the shade Hunts and we're gonna pop this down on the lower lash line right underneath. I'm actually going to take a little bit of this shade in Jaclyn's palette. This is the shade Creamsicle. I'm going to take Nylon and I'm actually first going to take Shroom. I lied. I'm just going to go in with Nylon because why not? For brow bone highlight, I'm going to go ahead and take the color Shroom. And we're going to pop that onto our brow bone. I'm going to pop on lashes. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else. Um, so far, I don't think I'm going to do anything else, but I'm going to pop on lashes. Well, I have a couple of different eyeliners that I want to use. And I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with Torch. Again, it's a burnt orange shade, so I really like this um, color. And so I think it'll look really, really great with this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this shade. And I'm going to pop that into my lower waterline here. I have a couple of new face products that I want to try. But I'm going to bronze first. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my Bahama Mama bronzer by The Balm. It's actually kind of looking a little muddy. I don't know why. Probably because I'm sweating so much. Like the air needs to kick on already. As soon as I said that, the air kicked on. Thank you. For blush, I'm going to go ahead and use this new e.l.f. Modern Metals palette. I've swatched it, but I have not used it on my face, so I'm a little nervous. I'm going to go ahead and take um, a little bit of this one and a little bit of this one. And we're going to... Wow, that's... We're just going to pop that onto our cheeks. Dude, this is looking a little muddy. I don't know why it looks like that. I'm going to go in with my Handy Dandy Pixie by Petra. Ow, highlighter. It pinched my finger. And of course, I'm going to take that on top of my Cupid's bow. Alright, so I'm going to start on my lips, and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Modern Metals Liquid Lipstick. Now, I don't have a lip liner, but I was almost thinking I could use Torch as a lip liner. I don't see why I couldn't. Alright, and I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Liquid Lipstick now, and we are going to... Whoa, that got like super chunky. There's the lip color on. Don't know how I feel about it, but it's on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give my face a spray. So I'm going to take the Too Faced Hangover um, prime, uh, not primer spray, the setting spray. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really like the way this look came out. I think it looks beautiful. I love, 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 love burnt oranges. Like, that's some one of my favorite, favorite colors. It's, so, yeah, I'm so excited I did this look today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me your video requests down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell notification down below. <gasps> I have something in my teeth. Nobody told me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will join me for some more. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week or weekend, whatever it is. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.